On this Thanksgiving Day, we give a very special thanks to the more than 4,000 North Alabama fallen heroes whose graves are now covered with wreaths for the holiday season. Tonight, Way 31's Pat Simon and Casey Albritton team up to share some of the stories of the volunteers who made sure those veterans know that we are forever grateful. Well, it's important that we remember all the ones that have died for, for this country. My name is Sam Mackey. I went to flight school in 1969. In uh, 1970, 71, I flew helicopters in Vietnam. Us North Alabama helicopter pilots, that's us in the yellow. We've been doing this, uh, I think this is our, probably at least our 10th year. We do this because we have to show respect for the ones that have passed who have uh, helped defend this nation all this, all, through all the different wars. Okay, Jack. Distribute those to the young people. A lot of young people come out uh, from the different schools, come out here and help us. Uh, if, if it wasn't for these young people and the old veterans who come out, uh, a lot of this would not get done. So it's, uh, it's nice to see the young kids here to uh, participate in trying to remember uh, whether it be a family member or uh, a friend or just coming out to come and help uh, put all these wreaths out. This is my great-grandfather, John Douglas Brown. My name is Megan Robinson. And I'm Susan Robinson. He was 92. He died two years ago. He fought in World War II, and he was in the Philippines and in Australia. So that's who we're honoring. I came with my school, Madison County High School, and we came to put wreaths on veterans' graves to remember them. Um, they, some people forget to say their names and say a prayer or something short just to remember that those people were real people that fought for us. It just means a lot that each veteran gets their own memory and a wreath just, it represents Christmas and everything, so it's just happy. If you drive around and look at the wreaths, it's, it, it's amazing. We remember all these men and women who have died for this country, for the freedoms we have. It's heartwarming is what it is. You just look at the stone and you can't believe that these men and women have made the, the absolute uh, sacrifice for a nation. And you and your family can visit the wreaths for veterans on display at Maple Hill and Valhalla Cemeteries now through the second week of January.